don't worry, it's just getting an oil change today. Calm down. <laughs> to start this off with an apology for the extreme lack of content lately but stuff has been happening in my personal life and things have gotten a little weird around here but recently my in-laws came to visit and they brought a lot of stuff mainly starting with uh, that thing and yeah more on that later Recently, I actually just switched jobs. Uh, the company I'm now working for, they're based right here in Weatherford, so I don't have to drive as far for work, which is amazing. And I get weekends off, which today is Sunday, so awesome. I get time with my family, which makes me really happy. Check that out, butterfly just landed on my shoulder. Go away. Also recently, we just hit 500. Yeah, that's it, 500 subscribers. Yay! And to celebrate hitting 500 subscribers, I was trying to come up with some sort of giveaway contest thing, but uh, so few of you comment on these videos that I think the first person that comments on this one will get a free shift head sticker and a stack of cards to pass out to their friends and or family if they're into that. But yes, today the excursion is just getting an oil change um, and I'm just gonna go through it and make sure everything's tip top because in a couple of weeks we're going to be taking a camping trip with that trailer. And I just want to make sure everything's good. But the main reason I'm changing the oil is because I can't remember what the mileage was when I finished reloading the top of the motor and I figured, well, what the hell, why not? Let her sit for a second. And six quart sticks are just at the line. This is gonna sound a little crazy, but I just love the smell of transmission fluid. And as far as the trailer goes, um, yeah, it, it's a toy box and uh, I, it's really nice. I'll show you around the inside some other time because right now it's a, uh, it's a mother-in-law's quarters because my mother-in-law is still here. She's flying back here pretty soon, back to California. But eventually they're going to move out here to Oklahoma to be closer to the grandkids, which is going to be nice because then I'll have babysitters all the time. So let's talk about this rad little beast for a second. Uh, it's a easy go marathon I think not exactly sure on what year it is 1990 1991 somewhere around there but you know I can't leave anything alone had those little things on it and the front end is out of alignment and I got to do something with that and it just tore up the front tires like you wouldn't believe after my son drove it consistently hours at a time for days uh, to make it street legal in Oklahoma I had to add turn signals that stupid little thing and it's supposed to have a windshield and when my father-in-law brought it this windshield was in one piece but my son took it off a curb and cracked the windshield and when he took it off the curb there was a buggy whip back here it bent the mount for the buggy whip and it was tilting forward and I went to go take the mount off but he hit the curb with the threads and it jacked up the threads for the whip so it snapped off but I got a new mount coming for that but uh, I got these wheels on it and it looks super, super fancy. Got a new windshield coming for it and I've got some rock lights coming for underneath that, that change colors and pulsate and glow and all that. But yeah, this is pretty cool, check this out. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so cool. Just... <laughs> LED lights all around, it's pretty sick. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun little toy just to have around. And one reason why I know the alignment is out is because when you would let go of the wheel, you would just take off in that direction really fast. So yeah, 
let's get this straightened out. They look as though they're both pointed inwards. So I'm gonna mess around with that for a little bit. So I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way with a tape measure and just measure from the front of the tire and then go to the back of the tire and then measure from there and then make it somewhat close, maybe quarter of an inch difference. And what really sucks is these kingpins, they, they move up and down and I couldn't find any parts to like rebuild those. So I might have to figure something else out for that. So uh, another funny thing that happened is when I put these tires on, they actually rubbed the fender when you would sit in it. So what I had to do was these leaf springs were up here. And oddly enough, there's like a little slot under here where you could put the leaf springs. So I took all of this crap apart and I brought it down to lift the front end about an inch so that these tires could clear, which I thought was pretty cool. But now I have another dilemma, and that is that this bar right here is what's going to adjust the toe for the tires, but it's got this thing on it, and this is the arm for the steering, and it's right in the flipping way. So I gotta figure this out. I might have to turn the wheel out of the way, do some stuff, and I'll figure it out. All right, so I've, I've busted the jam nuts loose. Now I just gotta twist this bar this way to get these tires to point in. But yeah, this is gonna be a little difficult. So let's have some fun. All right, well, that was a pain in the neck, but I think I got it where I want it. So now we just need to see if the steering wheel center. So uh, <laughs> test drive. And of course my wife parked the excursion right in the way. Oh, well, I'm a truck driver. I think I can figure this out. Okay, well, we can figure that out. So now, to get the steering wheel straight is gonna be this bar back here, and there's nothing in my way to straighten that out. So, I've got it somewhat straight, or the wheel somewhere close to where it was, so I just gotta undo these nuts. We'll roll the cart forward and backwards, make sure it's going straight, and then I'll just adjust that tube until that is straight up and down. And this is actually gonna be kinda of hard to get it perfectly straight because there's a lot of slop in the steering wheel. And I'm not exactly sure what I could do short of replacing everything in the steering to get it straightened out. So, we'll get it close. Uh, oops. <laughs> and she's still off a little bit, but not pulling to the right like it was. Put a tad off. All right, so that is that. I got that straightened out. Everything should be okay. Hopefully these tires don't get tore up like the old ones did. Like that sucker over there. Jeez. But yeah, uh, let's keep these nice and fresh. Anyway, I think that one's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Ooh, doggy. <laughs>